Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I thought I would come out and enjoy this beautiful day and I would like to talk to you a little bit about how to record a video. Up to about three years ago, I had not watched YouTube on a regular basis and when I did start watching it, I started watching the bushcraft. And I was just fascinated with how people went out into the woods and set up their camp, built a fire, camped overnight and recorded their experience. In particular, how they would walk and record themselves on the way to the camp. I just thought it was so fascinating that you could see them walking through the woods or walking through the snow. And so I finally realized, well, you know, they're having to go back and get that camera. And sometimes they would walk a long way off. And as I was watching the bushcraft videos on YouTube, I realized that's what they were doing. That was the style. And what I'm talking about is, for instance, they would set the camera up to sh record themselves walking down a trail, and then they would walk down the trail and then have to come back and pick up the camera and then walk down the trail again. As I was watching these videos, I realized, wow, they're having to do that all by themselves. They don't have anybody following to pick up the camera. After they've walked down the trail, they have to come back and pick it up themselves. So I'm going to show you how an average bushcrafter would actually record their video. Let's see what I can do. So basically to record this video, what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to get a shovel and I'm going to act like that I'm leaving my basement and going out into the wild, into the wilderness to dig a hole. So we're going to have that quest. So let's see how I record my journey. On this video, I'm going to use this shovel and go dig a hole out in the wilderness. Come join me. Okay, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do here. All right. All right, let's see. I'm going to walk away. Let me do that again because I wanted to walk by the camera. Okay, that's good. The first one's a gimme. The rest of them's got to be true. Make sure the camera is locked down and make sure it's rolling when you want it to be. Okay, we're gonna try the next shot now. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult, a little bit more involved. I'm recording. All right, here we go. Of course, since we are on a bushcraft expedition, we must admire some of the scenery. And enjoy the little things along the way.
now we are almost finished with our journey. Just a few feet more to our camp. And here we are. I'm going to work on this little drainage ditch a little bit that I dug a few days ago to let the rainwater wash off of the driveway. Then I gotta cut away. there we go and I have the shadow of the camera right here but so there we go we've achieved our goal and we've returned to our original spot where I began now if I'd been smart I would have recorded this when I recorded the intro but I wasn't I did go and do all of that and then I came back but that's the whole point is it takes a lot to do that especially if you're really camping or if you're really doing something out in the woods where you are going and building a fire or building a shelter or whatever, it's a lot of work, especially if you're recording it with a camera. On this video, I'm going to use this shovel and go dig a hole out in the wilderness. Come join me. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This idea has been on my mind for a little while and I really enjoy watching bushcraft videos and I wish everyone that does them the very best. And thanks, I appreciate it. See you next time.